my channel if you are returning and if you are brand new my name is Rabom Tiyane and so today what we are talking about is something that has been spoken about something that we've all heard about but we're not really sure what's going on we're not really sure what it's all about or where we should be putting our money into is it legitimate is it safe is it something that we should really be putting a lot of thought into well let's get to it so little disclaimer i just want to put out there i'm not a financial advisor of any sort of not being accredited by any institution or company to give financial advice what i say in my videos is solely my personal opinion and capiche capiche okay moving on so as i've said today we are talking about something that is not new to our ears you know is it legitimate is it good is it you know we are talking about easy equities so what is easy equities so easy equities basically who owns it so easy equities is a subsidiary of the purple group limited which is a jse listed company which basically kind of tells you that they are a legit company they're not coming here it's not a fly by night you won't wake up tomorrow and easy equities is gone with your money no it, they will definitely be around you know so and today i'll also be talking about the pros and the cons and you know me if i give any sort of um basically opinion about something is because i've gone through it i've put my money in it invested in it i've you know maneuvered around the app and the platform and i've seen what is going on so what does easy equities offer you so basically easy equities allows you to buy into um specific brands specific companies you can buy shares into these companies and but they also have other forms of investments as well they've got something called ec10 which allows you to purchase um cryptocurrency 10 different types of cryptocurrency and they've got something else called easy properties which allows you to buy into specific properties um and yeah so basically this is an investment platform where you are able to basically grow your money they've been partnering with banks so our banks are telling us to go into easy equities they're telling us it's easy to basically you know invest and you know it looks good it looks good but um as you know with anything that looks too good it probably is so i'm going to be talking about the things that i've realized with the app and i've seen with the platform that i don't necessarily think is too wise for you and you should think maybe you should think twice before going into as i went into it and i saw that oh this is a mistake i made and so you don't have to make those same mistakes okie dokie so basically is equities what makes it so much better than just basically trying to purchase stock into these companies yourself is that they have very minimal brokerage fees like Oh my gosh, it's close to nothing. And so what is basically brokerage fees? What is a broker? A broker is basically a middleman between a person, between you and the companies you want to invest in. So um, I'm just, I just want to go to Google and find a much more detail. Also, basically a broker is a person or firm who arranges transactions between a buyer and a seller for a commission. So they are commission their amount of money that they get for allowing you to go into that platform and buying um, into these companies is very minimal. So their brokerage fees are very, very minimal. And I personally think that if you have a problem with these fees, I no, then what, what was the reason? What was the reason? You know, it's quite, quite, quite affordable. Um, but you know, with anything that seems so good to be true they've got their pros they've got their cons but let's not kick them out you know just yet let's start with the pros first things first it was highly accessible easy equities is so easy to get you go into your app store you go into your play store you can get it on both android and ios and it's so easy for you to get it is absolutely free of charge and so and it's so easy to maneuver around the app secondly they give you demo money and as much as you guys have seen in my previous videos, I'm not a fan of demo money because I feel as if people hardly take it as serious and people hardly ever really look up into it and see what's going on. I prefer to make a small deposit of my own and kind of work with my own money because it allows me to put that seriousness into it. Um, but they allow you to, you know, they, they give you demo money, which I think is a great thing because it allows people who are still thinking of going into the platform, thinking of putting money into the platform to be able to practice and see what's really happening. As I've always said that I believe in practice before you go and put any sort of um, 
money into a specific investment platform or a specific investment opportunity you know just put your toe into the pool before you put your entire body because you don't know maybe there's sharks and if the, it's better for the shark to bite your toe than to eat your entire body I hope it makes sense I make sense and so another pro that I found with the app is it's so easy to maneuver around and oh my goodness if you know me if you know me I absolutely love any sort of platform that allows you to invest in your own currency I absolutely love that I absolutely love that easy equities is in rands um, and in dollars you know sometimes when a lot of um, when an, a platform is in dollars it makes it so much harder for you to truly understand where you are with your with your currency where you are with your money for example if you see um that your investment is on a hundred dollars you it doesn't really dawn on you how much money you've already made because it's not in your currency so the fact that it's in your own currency is a pro so i absolutely love 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 that about easy equities also it's just in simple figures and english and also i love that you can see the companies that you are investing in their background and where they currently are at the moment so they provide very easy to look at and maneuver graphs that kind of show you oh this is where the company was a few days ago a month ago and this is where it is as of this second this minute of course there's a little bit of extra costs in checking those type of things but they're not too bad they are definitely not 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 too bad and so as you guys can see i am absolutely loving easy equities now where's the problem so i make deposits um with my easy equities account and um one of the deposits doesn't reflect Till this day and I made that I think in February and still till this day it has never reflected uh, luckily it was a very small amount of money I think it was a hundred rand or 200 rand but I remember it wasn't a lot of money and so and what I also like is their response time because I did send a lot of emails back to them and I was telling them this money has not reflected and there was a girl um, I forgot her name but I remember it was a, a woman and she kept on replying to me and saying but this is showing and this is showing she's like yes i can see you've made three payments and one of them isn't reflecting i'm like then where's the money then where's the money please they, till this day that's the problem just because they've got a very fast response time doesn't mean it's helpful so imagine if I, that was a hundred thousand rand or even a thousand rand it was you know that's a lot of money to just kind of oh we lost it you know so that was one of the things that truly just took me out of the app and just took me by surprise and also um another con that i personally don't like about the easy equities app is the ec10 i know i've been telling you guys to invest in crypto this whole time and then when easy equities makes it easy for you guys to invest in crypto i make it you know i make it a problem why is that okay personally I don't like EC10. Um, EC10 basically the Easy Equities chooses 10 different types of cryptocurrencies for you that they um, are going to be investing your money into. I personally do not like that they choose the currencies that you want you're going into. I want to choose whether I wanted to go to Bitcoin, whether I wanted to go to Ripple, whether I wanted to go to Doge, whether I wanted to go to Shiba, whether I wanted to go to all of these. So I really, really don't like that they choose these currencies for you. So I'm going to tell you the ones that they actually choose for you they invest in bitcoin they invest in ethereum they invest in binance coin they invest in cardano they invest in xrp which is ripple they invest in dogecoin they invest in polka dots they invest in uniswap they invest in bitcoin cash and they invest in light coin these are pretty good coins but i believe that you know if i got to shift them a little bit maybe if they gave us the the different if maybe they gave us all of the coins that we, we can choose from and then we choose only 10 to invest then maybe i would find the crypto in it a little bit easier to maneuver around but the fact that they already choose these coins for you can be a pro and a con for me personally since i am a, already a bitcoin and um, other cryptocurrency investor. I understand these coins and I know the specific types of coins I want to go into. But if you're a person who's not willing to learn and really just wants to put your foot into the cryptocurrency space, um, I think this is 
great platform for you because then you don't have to kind of you know read too much about it because you just know that they're doing all that for you they've chosen the ones that they've seen um can be the most profitable and i i respect that because not everyone has the time to really go back and do research about oh this coin is this and it can buy this and do this and do this you know but yeah so easy equities um my stance on it is i believe that it is uh, it's not a scam one thing i will definitely tell you it's not a scam but also <sighs> i believe that you can <sighs> i don't know after they lost my deposit i truly just lost my faith in the platform but i will not lie to you it makes investing so much easier um and you know they're very fast when it comes to replying but i still didn't get the help so i don't know what you're going to do with that information because i'm also just caught up in the middle because some of my deposits did reflect and i'm like okay and i'm making a little bit of money from these deposits and make it so easy to maneuver around so i absolutely love this app but i also hates it because it's lost my money so what are we you know i'm kind of in the middle you know but i hope i make a lot of sense and i hope you guys got a little bit of information from what is going on today and yeah